Hello Adriana. This will be some video feedback for you on the magazine ad. <clears throat> we have four weeks left. Uh, if you need any help, you know, don't hesitate to reach out and I bid you strength. Uh, Adriana, um, you do have the, you know, the basics for, I think, a, a clean and simple ad. Um, I'm just thinking though, you know, take a look at professionally designed uh, ads of any kind, really. See how they handle things like, you know, contact information. And in general, I would avoid avoid these thin uh, strips. Magazine paid magazines are trimmed, and so you know uh, it might trim off. It, it might leave less than you would expect here, and create some visual tension at the edges there. Um, wherever possible, you know, I, I would I would extend your boxes off the edges, bleed them. And see if there's something else you can use uh, rather than a box with a solid color. I know that's our first go-to as designers, you know, bars and boxes. But there are other things you can do, um, you know, maybe a ghosted back image in the background, uh, something that would create more visual interest than this. Um, okay, so I'm going to open this up in Illustrator and uh, see if you have embedded or have uh, linked your images. Uh, Adriana, um, here is your submission. I'm not seeing a Illustrator file, and uh, this needs to be done in Illustrator. Um, you know, fear not. Uh, that was Lola Rumsey's, by the way. Um, you, it's easy. It's easier to convert this to uh, Illustrator. It's it's virtually the same interface, but you need to leave this class uh, with um, an idea of how to. You know, uh, create a uh, a page in Illustrator. When you recreate this in Illustrator, Adriana, um, it'll be the, virtually the same thing. But make sure that you embed images rather than link to them. Now, um, so I was curious to know, you know, what it might look like if you made these rectangles um, bleed off the edge. And I don't know if I can do that or not. Oops, no. Um, but what I'm going to suggest you do is, you know, take this this wonderful mask that you made, uh, and if you can, um, oops, bleed it off the edge. Because you know, we're not in Illustrator, this you know is difficult to do. Um, but edit, transform. I'm just going to do this quickly to give you an idea of what I mean. Well, it's maybe too large. <laughs> Where is that gray? I'm trying to get rid of that. Um, well, the idea was, you know, to bring this all the way up to the top, and, and I may have botched it. You could design an, uh, an effective ad, though, with the ingredients that you have. Uh, consider contact information. Take a look at professionally designed ads, um, and um, maybe refine your mask when you get to it. I don't think you need all, all these bars um, behind your uh, image. And I'm not doing a very good job of this, but I guess what I'm trying to suggest to you is that you could have a transform scale, still create a, an effective ad with the ingredients that you have. So here we go. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I hope you get the idea. And again, if you need any more uh, design criticism, don't hesitate to reach out.